Good morning. We are going to be making homemade kombucha. I don't know if you're buying kombucha in the store, but it usually is about $3.99 to $4.99 for a container. It's flavored, but it's very good. It's kind of a fizzy fermented drink that's really good for your stomach and your system. So I'm going to show you how to make it at home. It's much cheaper. First thing you need is one cup of sugar. White sugar is what I use. Uh, you need to have organic, organic black tea. I just buy this Lipton. You need eight tea bags. Then you need 14 cups of water or three and a half quarts of water. So I've already measured out my water. Let me tip this down a smidge for you. All right, so I've already measured out my water. I'm basically just gonna pour my water into a pot. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. I'm really just making sweet tea, is kind of what you're doing at the beginning. I had already measured out my water. So there's my 14 cups of water. I'm going to bring this to a boil. Once I bring it to a boil, I'm going to add in the sugar, and I'm going to let that dissolve. Once that's dissolved, I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to throw my eight bags of Lipton Organic Tea into the pot. I'm going to let it steep. I'm going to put the lid on it, let it steep, and move it off the heat and let it come to a totally cool uh, room temperature. And then we'll move on to the next step. So what have we done so far? Basically, make some sweet tea on the stove. All right, we'll be back. All right, now my tea has cool. My container has been rinsed out and it's sanitized. And I have my SCOBY. You want to make sure you grab a tea towel or cheesecloth and a rubber band. All right, so my tea is totally cool. I am going to pour it into the container where it's going to ferment. Done. I'm going to take my SCOBY. It smells very fermenty. Uh, my SCOBY and two cups of the liquid from my last batch of kombucha, and I'm just going to Pour it in there. It's going to settle, and then what's going to happen is it's going to float up and open up, and eventually they'll keep growing to the size of the jar. So if you have a narrow jar, your SCOBY is going to stay small and get thicker. If you have a wider jar, your SCOBY is going to flatten up, raise, and then start spreading out. So my SCOBYs are going to get bigger and bigger each time. All right, so that's done. I am going to take my tea towel over the top, rubber band, done. I'm going to set this over in the corner over here where it will not be touched and I will leave it alone and I will come back and check it in seven days. After seven days, I'll test it to see if it is the taste that I'm looking for. If not, I'll wait and go another couple days. So what you're going to do is basically make your tea, let it come totally to room temperature. You're going to put your SCOBY in there. The reason your tea needs to be at room temperature is because if you put your SCOBY in there, it's going to kill it. It is alive. I know it's not moving or anything weird like that, but it is alive. That's how you're getting the fermentation. And it's eating the sugar that's in the tea, and that's what's causing the fermentation. All right, so really, that's it. We're going to let them be. And I just did another video on how to flavor your kombucha once it's ready. So I hope that you learned something and that you try to make your own. All right, have a great week.